Hello there, welcome to the engineering mechanics video lectures. In this video lectures we have seen how to calculate the frictional force and how to calculate the coefficient of friction and normal reactions and most of the time we are dedicated to find out the uh, forces itself. Now we can see in this problem rather than going in the type of the text and all and I am trying to explain to you and how to do it so that you can practice on your own so that you will also get it the, the important information and how to solve this the uh, problems of uh, the frictional force. So in this figure how many blocks we do have? Yes there is a two blocks are there that is going to be A as well as the B. Now can you tell me how they are going to be positioned each other? The A is going to be positioned on the uh, floor that is going to be rested on the floor which is going to be have a friction right. And similarly, the B is going to be rested on a, a, right? And then there is also the friction is going to be existed, right? And then what happened? I was tried with the a rope between block A to the vertical wall. Then I can say that's going to be your rope BC is going to be your rope. That length is going to be the BC I'm going to be saying. And same time, the force applied force P is going to be applied at on the block A which is going to be acting horizontally towards the left side. So then it is going to be clear that the member is going to be what are the things is going to be composed of. Now when the applied force is going to be existed and the block A is going to be trying to move towards this side. Whenever I am going to be considering the frictional force then what will happen that is trying to opposing the motion of the body then the A is going to be moving towards this side and your frictional force is going to be develops in the contact of with your floor as well as to your body B. So now we can see by using this one can you see WB is going to be the self weight of your block B, WA is going to be self weight of your block A and the TB is going to be TBC is going to be tension existed in your string while you are pulling this object in this direction and the coefficient of friction is going to be existed between A as well as the B. And the coefficient of friction existed between your A as well as the floor, I can say mu A F I am going to be considering. Now what is our next step and how we are going to be solving unknown parameters, either the P or the frictional force or maybe the tension or the normal reaction, right. So presently I am going to be taking the first and foremost is going to be the free body diagram. Should I take A or B? So this is my selectively I am going to be choosing. If I am going to be taking A, then what happen? Unknown parameters are going to be very huge number. So then what I am going to do for the simplification of the mathematical equations, I am going to be taking B is going to be the uh, free body diagram for the first case. So that is going to be free body diagram for the body B, that is the block B. So then what I am going to do and I already analyze the B is going to be rested on A and tied with the rope. So that I am going to be removing this two, right. So that is going to be your block B, right. The self weight is always acting in the downward direction that is going to be WB, right. And the tension I am going to be cut off this one. So then what happened? Your tension is going to be showing in this direction that is going to be TBC suppose. Because the pull is going to be there towards this side and the tension in the string is trying to pull this object towards that side. So that is my assumption here. So then what happened? The tension is going to be developing here and what is there and I am going to be removing your block A. So then the reaction force is going to be coming from the R and A suppose, okay. So then what is else is there? This block is going to be B is trying to move towards this side and this block is going to be trying to move towards the left side. So then in this case the contact force is going to be that is the frictional force is going to be developing. It is trying to opposing the motion. The block B is trying to move towards this side and this force is going to be towards this side. So that is going to be your the frictional force R and I am going to say. So there we can see after you are removing the supports and the applied forces and then this is going to be your free body diagram. Then we can say this is going to be the force analysis. Once the force analysis is over that I am going to be applying for the equations of equilibrium that is going to be sigma f of x equal to 0 and sigma f of y is equal to 0. If I am going to be applying in this equation the two forces we do have that is going to be your TBC as well as the frictional force. That is going to be again TBC minus frictional force is equal to 0. 
and similarly there is going to be a vertical forces are there too that is going to be your R n is equal to W b. Again the frictional force I can write in terms of your mu R n a suppose that this is going to be coming from your the reaction force from your body a. So then this way we are going to be solving the unknown parameters. So once it is going to be there I have calculated your R n a as well as the frictional force also I am going to be trying to calculate over here by using your WB. So once if I am going to be substituting in this equation because I know your the coefficient of friction mu AB and if I am going to be substituting I can calculate my frictional force and your normal reaction and the tension in your string. Once it is going to be completed then I can take the free body diagram for your body A. Now I am going to be taking my free body diagram A. So then what happened here I want to remove all the supports and the forces which are going to be acting. This is going to be the block A. So there we can see when I am going to be showing here this is going to be your applied force. This is suppose if you want to calculate then we can do it. So then what happened what other forces are coming. See the self weight is going to be always acting in the downward direction that is going to be W A. At the same time there is going to be a self weight of your member is going to be there that is going to be W B. Which direction it is going to be acting? It is also acting in the downward direction that is going to be W B also I have taken or normal reaction also I can tell it that part. So W A and W B of the block A and B is acting in the downward direction. So then what I am going to do? I am going to remove the floor so that I, have, I can show with the reaction force that is going to be moving in the upward direction that is going to be R N F if I am going to say that is going to be a reaction coming from the floor to the body A. And what else forces are going to be coming into the picture as we know the when applying the force P the body is trying to move towards this side the dotted lines are going to be indicating. So now can you see what is the friction is going to be generating here. So the friction is going to be moving towards this side. That is going to be your frictional force and this is going to be A F I am going to be called right because object is trying to move towards this side but the resistance force is going to be nothing but the friction is coming in the opposite direction to stop it. Can you see and the body is going to be trying to move towards this side at the same time there is a contact existed between your A and B also. So that force is going to be trying to opposing the motion of your body then which direction it is going to be can you see the force is going to be acting towards this side your frictional force is going to be coming towards this side that is going to be your the frictional force A, A B I am going to be calling and this is equal to the already we have taken the frictional force for the B with respect to the A and those are going to be. Now can you see almost we have done the, the force analysis and we have drawn the free body diagram. The free body diagram always indicating or representing the forces acting on that member. There you can see a very valuable forces are going to be we got in the free body diagram. And then I am going to be applying your equations of equilibrium. So that is going to be sigma f of x is equal to 0 and sigma f of y is equal to 0. Then the equations are going to be the same. There we can see how many forces are acting in the horizontal direction. 1, 2, 3 forces are going to be there. So that is going to be your F A F plus F A B minus P is equal to 0. One equation I am going to be getting. Second equation that is going to be acting in the vertical direction. So that is equal to your R N F is equal to W A plus W B I can get it. Once if I am getting the R N F then I am going to be substituting because the friction force already we have calculated in the, the last that means in this case that is this going to be the equal and this I am going to be writing mu R N F is going to be so that I can calculate your the frictional force also. I hope you are able to understand the concepts how to draw the free body diagram. Most of the time the engineering mechanics is going to be existed in your free body diagrams. Once you know the free body diagram how to draw then equilibrium equations we are going to be substituting then finally we are going to be solving. Okay? Then I hope you are able to understand still you feel any confusion or still do you want the more input regarding this solution I can help you. If you put in the comment section so that I can reach out to you. Thank you.